Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So we are trading on Friday my friends, so one day before the weekend. So let's have a look where we are going to close this week, especially for the Bitcoin price in the CMEs and of course also in the traditional markets. So first we're going to start here in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin on the spot chart because uh, here of course we have the whole weekend ahead. So we are trading the whole weekend and prepare for some volatility my friends because I think that during this weekend we are going to see a lot of volatility both to the upside and also to the downside. And here in the four hour currently in theory we are looking still bullish even though we got here a sell signal up here. This was also the time where I closed all my long positions but right now I am looking again to open up some longs because for now we are still trading above the EMA ribbons and also above the 20 moving average in the four hour which currently is holding as a support and also we have still positive money flow. So we were about to get here another buy signal but it didn't happen so far no buy signal is appearing right now in the four hour and three hour time frame because usually I am scaling in some longs once we're getting good buy signals like this one over here when we are in oversold condition and the momentum is again shifted to the upside. This is not what we're getting right now. But since we are still getting supported by this previous uh, resistance trend line, which now should be acting as a new support, I think that we have very good chances to have a big bounce here to the upside and reach my target of around $49,500, the top of the Keltner channels that we have on the daily scale, since we are getting all the supported by the median line of the Keltner channels so far at around $47,250. So as long as we have daily closes above the median line of the Keltner channels, I'm going to remain bullish at least here for the short to midterm that we are going to test at the top of the Keltner channels and here we're gonna see if we're ending up in a lower high compared to this one here at 53k or if we can resume the rally so in the four hour time frame we are still looking good even though we don't have yet a buy signal but I am currently scaling in some longs I am currently a bit underwater but I am planning to add more if we are dropping down towards 45k only if we're gonna have daily closes below the bottom of the Keltner channel, so below 45k and also below this Fibonacci retracement level here, the 0.236, then I'm going to close my longs with a small loss. But if we're coming down here and we're gonna have a nice bounce to the upside for the worst case scenario, then I'm gonna add more into my long position because I'm gonna still remain optimistic that latest here we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside and resume this rally. But uh, this is just for the worst case scenario. I don't expect that we will drop down towards 45k since we're getting supported here by the median line of the Keltner channels. So if we're gonna have a daily close below $47,000, then yes, 45k is in the cards. But as long as we're getting supported here, I think that the next move will bring us here towards the top of the Keltner channels. And if we have a look here into the lines chart, you can also see that Bitcoin is currently forming a potential falling wedge here in the four hour time frame. So if this falling wedge here is going to play out, then I think we're gonna have a nice big push, not only up here towards the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level at around 49K, but most likely also enter into this zone here between these two Fibonacci retracement levels and therefore also come up to test this top of the Keltner channels at around $49,500. And this will be, in my opinion, the final test to see if here we're going to end up in a lower high compared to this one at 53K or if we are able to resume the rally here and go probably towards new all-time highs if we are able to break this local top that we had here at 53K. So the four hour is still looking good, but of course we still have to wait here for this uh, breakout to the upside of this falling wedge and also for the next buy signal because in theory here we're still in an uptrend. Also RSI is above the 50 level and money flow is increasing. So I'm still gonna remain very optimistic here in the four hour time frame. On the daily scale, currently we're getting rejected from the 20 daily moving average, 
but uh, even if we come down towards the 9 daily moving average or here where we have the 50 and 200 daily moving average so here between 46,500 and 46,000 dollars we should have enough support because here we have three moving averages lining up which should hold as a support and also since we got here a fresh buy signal and we have positive money flow with the RSI above the 50 level also the daily is looking like that we are in here for a next big push towards that 49k area which will tell us then if here we're going to end up in a lower high compared to this one or if we can resume the rally so everything is going to be depending what is coming up next here in the next coming hours and days especially after this weekend because i think that next week we should have a bullish week even though we are looking a bit concerning here on the weekly scale because here on the spot chart you can see that we have right now a sell signal flashing so i don't expect that during the weekend we can push away this sell signal and the weekly time frame is still looking good so nothing to worry about yet but if the sell signal is getting confirmed i expect here some more continuation to the downside maybe not immediately but at least in the next coming weeks down towards the 20 weekly moving average which is still sloping to the downside and it's currently here at around $41,600. So it is possible that Bitcoin after this confirmed uh, sell signal on the weekly scale is coming down towards the 20 weekly moving average in the next coming weeks. But at the end, we should have also here a nice bounce to the upside because the weekly scale is still looking extremely good. We also have here positive money flow. And if here we are able to create a higher low, if we are coming back down towards 40K, then this could be a very bullish setup that afterwards we could have a big bounce to the upside and then start to create here higher lows and higher highs on the weekly scale. Because for now, we still have lower lows and lower highs, which is of course very, very concerning. And also remember that we have that historical resistance, the 104 HMA moving average right at 53K, where we got rejected that for now with this rally that we had from 30k up to 53k so we ran into this historical big resistance up here and as long as bitcoin is not able to close weekly candles above that moving average i still gonna be a bit more cautious that a potential continuation of this uh, correction phase or bear market maybe uh, is still not over. So we still have to be a bit more cautious uh, because we are not completely out of the woods, but we have the chance here to reverse this uh, bearish structure that we're building up here on the weekly scale and then move on towards new all time highs, which in my opinion uh, is still very likely uh, towards the end of this year latest. And if we have a look now into the CME chart, you can see that here we don't have yet that sell signal flashing. And also keep in mind that on the bigger scale, on the weekly and monthly time frame, whenever we have buy or sell signals, usually those take a very long time to play out. And here so far we don't have that sell signal. So if we're gonna close this weekly candle above the nine weekly moving average here without sell signals, I think that we have very good chances to see continuation to the upside without coming back down to test the 20 weekly moving average also here at around $41,000 because that is possible uh, that Bitcoin here as soon as we're getting a sell signal we are coming down to at least test the 20 weekly moving average before we had higher because uh, those signals on the weekly scale are very very powerful like here I told you my friends that as soon as we had here uh, a buy signal on the weekly scale I was telling you that we have a very powerful buy signal here and uh, whenever we are having sell or buy signals on the weekly scale usually they play out very very nicely and as long as here on the CME we don't have a sell signal I think that we can trust a bit more here the CME chart but of course here on the spot chart we are looking a bit concerning that maybe a 20 weekly moving average test is uh, looming behind the corner but that doesn't mean that we have to go straight down during the weekend or next week I think that most likely if here we're getting that sell signal confirmed we're gonna see this playing out maybe in two or three weeks and until then we most likely here going up or sideways so I'm gonna still remain very bullish here for the Bitcoin price and also here on the monthly scale if we're getting that buy signal which by the way is not flashing yet I'm gonna start to be extremely bullish here for Bitcoin and probably go all in again uh, because usually sell and buy signals here on the monthly scale always play out very very nicely and also those kind of uh, bigger time frame buy and sell signals always takes a long time to play out and that's why if here we're getting a buy signal I'm gonna be extremely bullish and probably go again all in into bitcoin without any fiat on the sideline 
And now that we have covered Bitcoin, let's head over into the Ethereum price action because uh, Ethereum here is also looking bullish, but of course uh, we're still following perfectly Bitcoin here. And here currently we are dropping also below the 20 daily moving average and we have the 9 daily here at $3,400. So we should close daily candles above the 9 daily moving average. Otherwise also here we could go again easily down towards the bottom of the EMA events at around $3,200. So everything is going to be again depending what Bitcoin is doing. Wherever Bitcoin is going, all the altcoins will follow, especially Ethereum. And if Bitcoin is able to push again towards uh, 49K and maybe even go higher, I expect that here Ethereum will not only come up here towards $3,800, but most likely also push higher and also break this 4K top that we had for now, because Ethereum is still looking extremely good here on the bigger scale, like the daily time frame. And only if here we would start again to close daily candles below the nine daily moving average or below the EMA ribbons, then I would start to get a bit more concerned here uh, because uh, we could easily easily now fall below the 50 level of the RSI and that of course uh, could suggest that we are in here for more correction for Ethereum especially if Bitcoin uh, is going towards 42k next which I don't think will happen next but if Bitcoin is dropping down towards 42k so towards the 20 weekly moving average it's very likely that also here Ethereum is dropping again below $3,200. And on the weekly scale, we are also still looking good, but also here we have that sell signal flashing. So it is possible that if Bitcoin is coming down towards 42K, that Ethereum also will come down to test the 20 weekly moving average at around $2,800. And then we're gonna see if there we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside or not. And before we now have a look into the DXY and NASDAQ, I just want to give you a quick overlook into the Bitcoin dominance because I think that very, very soon um, we're gonna have a big rise in the Bitcoin dominance again. And usually those kind of uh, things ha are happening always after we are topping out in the altcoins or all in the Bitcoin price. Although in the past, when we had here this big reversal with this double bottom formation on the weekly time frame, this was in May 2018. This was when all the altcoins topped out and then we had an extreme increase in the Bitcoin dominance. And this was all during a bear market, so during 2018 and 2019. So all the money from altcoins switched back into Bitcoin or into stable coins. And I think that right now we could be maybe forming a very, very similar pattern like we had over here with a double bottom formation on the weekly scale. So also here, the Bitcoin dominance, in my opinion, is very soon finding a bottom. And once here, the Bitcoin dominance is rising again, the show will be definitely back over on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin will lead again the market. That doesn't mean that we have to enter into a bear market but uh, I expect that it's going to be better to sit into Bitcoin and not too much in some altcoins if here we're finding a bottom because also here on the weekly scale, it looks like that we could get another buy signal and therefore also have a double bottom here. And at the same time, we also have money flow, which is increasing here on the weekly scale for the Bitcoin dominance. And also this one here will take a very long time to play out. So if here in the next coming weeks, maybe even towards the end of this year, we're gonna see the Bitcoin dominance increase here then this could be maybe a sign that we are slowly topping out here in the altcoin market and of course also for Bitcoin that a cycle top could be very very close once here the Bitcoin dominance is starting to increase a lot so we have to keep a very close eye here on the Bitcoin dominance what is coming up next especially towards the end of this year because I still expect that we are going to see new all-time highs for the altcoins and also for Bitcoin towards November or December and then of course we also have to see where the Bitcoin dominance will be because the Bitcoin dominance right now is looking like that it wants to find a bottom here and that we are very soon in here for a big reversal and that in the past usually always told us that a potential cycle top is very close and that it's good to go back into Bitcoin and not too much into altcoins. And sometimes, of course, also to take some profits into stable coins so you can buy again more altcoins and Bitcoin during the next bear market, which of course will also come. It doesn't matter how high we are going here in the next coming weeks and months in the Bitcoin price and of course also in some altcoins. 
So I wanted that you have that in your radar, my friends, because currently I see a lot of altcoins pumping like crazy and I don't want you to jump into those uh, altcoins which are trading right now in all time high territories and of course all in very overbought condition. So that's why don't FOMO in into some crazy projects which are exploding. Of course, you can do a lot of money, but once the trend is going to reverse here, especially once the Bitcoin dominance is starting to increase, it's going to be more safe if you're just sitting in Bitcoin and don't do anything than searching for the next hidden gem that could have a 1000x pump next. Because at the end, just buying and hodling Bitcoin is always the most profitable strategy, how to increase your portfolio without doing that much. And now let's have a look also into the DXY because uh, we are about to close also here today, the week for the DXY. And uh, here on the weekly scale, in theory, we could still be in an uptrend. We still have negative money flow, but it is also increasing and the RSI is above the 50 level. So the weekly time frame is looking quite good here for the DXY, but we still have the 200 and 100 weekly moving average here at around $94.40. So even though in the lower time frames we could see continuation to the upside, I don't think that we are going to reverse the trend here in the DXY in the next coming weeks. And as long as the DXY is looking bearish and is trading below the 200, weekly moving average I am going to remain still very bullish for the crypto and stock market and here on the daily scale we have now a close above the 20 daily moving average and also above the 9 daily moving average so if here in the next coming days especially in these upcoming weeks we're gonna see follow through to the upside this could be a dangerous sign for the crypto and stock market we don't have always to be inverse correlated but just that you have that in your radar the DXY could have continuation here to the upside in the next coming days and as long that is the case, that could be, of course, a sign that we are going to correct a bit more in the crypto and stock market. And this is exactly what we're seeing here over on Nasdaq. Currently, we're still squeezing between the 9 and 20 daily moving average. And because the DXY is having a nice pump right now, I expect that Nasdaq here most likely is going to lose the 20 daily moving average as a support very soon and maybe come back down towards the 50 daily moving average, where usually we are always bottoming out when we have uh, bigger corrections, even this one over here. So that's why if Nasdaq is uh, coming down towards a 50 daily moving average at around $15,000 latest here, I'm expecting a big bounce to the upside and then continuation of this trend because also here we are still looking extremely good and we have extreme good money flow in the daily and weekly time frame. And once here we are getting a buy signal on the daily scale, which can happen in this next coming weeks, maybe even next week, then I think that also here we are going to create new all time highs and whenever Nasdaq is doing new all time highs, we are also very optimistic and bullish for the crypto market. All right, my friends. So with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also check out all my referral links that you can find in the video description because with all of them, you will get some extra bonus, especially over on Delta Exchange where currently I am trading because here you can get up to $30,000 in a trading bonus if you fulfill all the requirements. So here you have the highest trading bonus and with that money you can do free trades here and of course you can withdraw all the gains that you're doing with that money so definitely check it out a video tutorial about delta exchange is also popping up at the end of this video because here you have different trading options and of course you can also do copy trades so check it out my friends currently i'm trading only here over on delta exchange and don't forget to join our great crypto trading chat the link is in the video description and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin and other assets if you want to get access to it then contact me here on discord because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the live stream of my indicator or if you want the indicator for your own trading view otherwise you can also just get a youtube membership directly here on youtube so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye